Okay, so we are at the uh, Canyon Visitor Center for Dinosaur. Abby's gonna go ahead and put a couple more of our stamps in there. This one's in Colorado. Colorado, look at that. Dinosaur Colorado. And then they have one more, right? It's a dinosaur school. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, it'll fit right there. Maybe right here? Wherever you want. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaur skull, that's perfect. Yes. Very cool. That is awesome. Perfect, in the petroglyphs behind you. <laughs> <laughs>how beautiful this is look how beautiful that is oh, that's so great this is the echo park ever look overlook i'm sorry echo park overlook here in dinosaur national monument on the colorado side that's beautiful and it's been wonderful it's been a nice drive we haven't seen anybody else in here the ranger said there was a handful of people in yeah. today yep that's we stopped awesome. there and got our uh, stamp in the book and uh, asked about the drive here uh, I think it was 32 miles total, and we're headed down to Harper's Corner, which is not very much further down. I think it was uh, another mile or two down that we got to go, and then we're going to take the little uh, hike all the way out to the point there Yep. so that we'll have a little better look at all that right there. Ugh. This has been, yeah. this has been gorgeous. Yeah. Seeing this kind of scenery like this here. Yeah. That road down there is pretty cool. Which one was that? That is the uh, Echo Park. I believe it was Echo Park Road. Uh, 12 mile road that you can take through there. I'm sure that is awesome. Yes. You can hear the wind up here and some bugs. That's it. The temps are nice. It's perfect. Blue here. sky. We hit this at a good time too because she says that it's been very smoky here. Yeah. And it's only been the last two days, which is the days that we've been here that it's not covered up with smoke yeah. completely. Oh, we got lucky. We did, Yay. we got really lucky here. You said there's another overlook over here? You yeah. wanna walk to? Yeah, there's like a little trail marker right there. All right, we're gonna hit this and then we're gonna ride down there to uh, the uh, Harper's Corner Trail. Can someone please tell me what these are? I absolutely love these. I think they are so gorgeous. I think they're sagebrush. I mean, I just think it's sagebrush. They gotta have another name, don't they? We'll find out. If someone knows, let me know. I just think those are gorgeous. Abby wants to plant some of these at the new house. If they're not, you know, I don't know if they'll grow in Florida. But they probably won't. <laughs> There's enough water there that they should grow. <laughs> no, but I think it might be too much water. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look, they got a picnic area, even a barbecue pit you can use. Yeah. Ooh wee. <laughs> it yeah, drops off on that. it drops off on both sides. Walking along the ridge here. Ah. Oh, look at the little bench. Oh, they gave you a bench to sit on and That's, enjoy it. This is just great. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous view. Yeah, it's great.
Alrighty guys, we made it to the Harper's Corner Trail. It's supposed to be some beautiful views. This is the uh, trail that you hike right here. And it's, uh, I think it said it was two miles right total. Oh yeah, there you go. Two miles round trip. A mile out and a mile back. Supposed to get some of the best views you can get though of the canyon. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, this is gonna be great. So we each got a bottle of water. Yep. And we are ready to go. There are uh, three other cars here, and that's it. You know what? What? I'm going to reapply sunscreen. Okay. You can never be too careful. All right. You do that. Oh. Oh, got to unlock it. It's going to be a mile straight up. <laughs> they always start you oh. off. Uh, you got that on camera. Dang. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> they start you off with the easy stuff first, which is downhill. So yep. you have to really climb on coming back out. This is going to be nice, though. We got three bottles of water, so I had to grab an extra one. They were saying in the summertime, bring a gallon of water per person and allow about two hours for the hike. Number two. Pinion trees. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm probably not saying it right. It's a cool looking tree. We can keep going while you, while you check it out. So they got these uh, guides for a dollar at the uh, trailhead. And so they'll have markers along the trail so that we can kind of learn a little bit about the area. How you doing back there? Doing great. I like this trail so far. Yeah, it ain't bad. It's beautiful too, look at that. <laughs> the views at the end are gonna be so great. Oh yeah. You oh. see the river down there? I mean, that's just Oh, I can see a car amazing. at that, uh, that road down there. That is a long ways down. Yes. That's incredible though. Yep. The, uh, it's just the, the view from here is amazing. I can yeah. see the road down in that canyon there. That's so cool. I keep telling, yeah. I keep telling Abby, we're going to do one of those drives one of these days. Like yep. there's a, there's a drive like that in Canyon lands called the white, I think it's the white rim road. And you have to get a permit. For you have off, to have a permit. Yep. It's a hundred miles long. And you have to camp out there because obviously you can't make it back in time. But that's what I want to do. I want to take one of those long roads like that and just find a really cool remote spot to stop and camp for the night and then finish out the drive the next day. That's wow. that just so cool how the river carved that yeah. canyon out there. It's just, it reminds me of the Grand Canyon. Yep. Oh, yeah, we're starting to see the canyon on the left side now as well. Ooh, that breeze. Is oh, yeah, the wind's lovely. picking up through here. Look at this. This is like a little narrows, a little neck section that you go across. And it's super far down <laughs> on uh, both sides there. <laughs> Way cool. You're not going this way? Oh, There's an arrow there. there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to question you. You're all right. Number six. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Yes, you are on the edge right here. The arrow wow. says this way, so right here. Oh, there's an arrow there? Yeah, you're too close to the edge for me. Wow, look at that. The view, though. Be careful. Oof. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, it is.
I wonder if we're getting close to the end here. I think we would have to be. Yeah. I'm glad we did this. Me too. Wonderful. I think we're getting pretty close to the end here, but uh, shouldn't be, it shouldn't be very much further, but this has not been bad at all. No. Uh, we passed a few people, they were coming out. I bet you that we're the only ones out here on the trail now. Yeah. What's number 10, babe? Take a closer look at the rocks along the trail. Oh, the Many rocks. of them bear a colorful crust of lichen. Is that how you say it? I don't know. They can grow on bare rock where most other things cannot. The secret is that there are actually two organisms in one, fungus, whose sticky filaments anchor to the rock and an alga which uses the energy of the sunlight to produce food through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. <laughs> but you said that <clears throat> with such enthusiasm. Did I? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you like that. I'm telling you, in, in, a, in another career, you, you would be a professional at um, um, archaeology. Okay, thanks. And what's the ones that study rocks and minerals? Geologists. Geologists, okay. Yeah, you would be... I think you would be or both. gymologist that too so there's three and then a zookeeper and then <laughs> exactly. or a something, something with animals yes <laughs> yeah i think i wouldn't mind also uh, maybe working with dogs you would love that too i would oh oh black billed magpie what are we talking about well i don't know is that what we hear uh i don't know uh, you mean uh, number 11 can you hear it I heard a bird. Well, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> not quite there yet. Every time I think we're getting close to the end, it just keeps on going. But uh, we got to be getting close. I have not tracked our distance yet. Number 16 is the end. Oh, okay. And we're at, uh, we'll be coming up on 12, I guess, next. Yep, here's 12 ahead of us. <laughs> That's just crazy. You talking about the the look the down? The drop off? Yeah, oh, sure yeah. I am. I have not read how deep these canyons are here, but they are massively deep. If you look up at that point and all the way down where the river's at, I don't know. It's got to be a couple thousand feet. Seems I think like it's three. Three? I think. I mean, look, you can't even see the bottom there. Oh. Just be that careful this, and pay attention. Yep, that gives me the sweaty palms. Yep. Holy. Wow. This is paying off, though. Yes. Definitely paying off. I wonder if we're going up there. Do not know. All right. Oof. <laughs> be careful Ooh, here. Wee. Yes, we are going up there. I can see the trail are going up we? there. Yeah, to the Sweet. top. Sweet. That's. That is way down. I mean... This is the first time that I started, like, my feet started getting a little tingly here. There's the, there's the edge. Yeah, I'm trying to stay away from the edge. My phone's like, uh-uh. I'm not <laughs> even going to open for you. All right. Okay, so they've got some uh, <laughs> fencing along this section here. I appreciate the fencing. Wow. Look at this. That 
That might be the end right there. Okay, don't, yeah. It don't look like we go all the way to the top there. Okay, yeah. All right, we're gonna finish this out. We're almost there. I think it's just this right here. Get a shot of us this way too, going up. <laughs> Well, this one hikes as one. Of, this hike ranks as one of the best hikes we've ever done. I think so. This is it. We made it to Harper's Corner, and you do get a fantastic <laughs> view from both sides. Yes. Yes. Look, sixteen. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I had to do the chin, the chin strap. It's, it's, it's very windy. <laughs> <sighs> wow. This is so great. Amazing, isn't it? It's incredible. I love it so much. So on this side, we're looking at, <clears throat> this is the Green River. That's what we've been seeing come around. That's the Yampa River over there. I believe they uh, they merged together down this way a little, little bit further. That's just spectacular. I really don't know what else to say. I know. We keep saying this, it's incredible, it's it, spectacular over it and is. over, but it's just wonderful. And this camera is not going to show the depth and no. beauty as it does of uh, standing here and seeing this. I will point out that this is not a handicap accessible trail. No, this one's not. Not at all. And it's probably not great for small children unless you're carrying them. True. But... Uh, they can go to the parking lot and still get some uh, good views of yes. both sides here. Yes. We're just going to kind of uh, take this in a little bit while we're here yep. and, in, and enjoy this view before we start our trek back. I wish I had some binoculars because it almost looks like those are petroglyphs right there. Right. But I mean, it does look like that. You know, they would be very it? big. Yeah. Oh. But just from up here, you can just see the canyon and how the river has just carved yeah. out of the, uh, the, was that sandstone or what they call that? Mudstone here? Where was that? Uh, Weber sandstone is what that, uh, the yellow colored rocks are. Weber sandstone. I think we're going to end our little video right here. Can I just take a moment? You can. Because it's a beautiful view. Don't wait to travel. Go now. Book your trip. We always recommend that you try to travel anytime you can. The work will be there. The work's always going to be there when you get back, but if you have uh, if you have vacation time, plan it, book it, go out and do the trips. We yeah. uh, we talk about this often because we hear it often about you'll hear people say that, um, oh, we're just going to wait until we retire to be able to go and see places. Don't wait. I think you're going you're gonna to regret that if you wait because you just never know what life's going to throw at you. And just take the opportunities when you can yeah. to be able to have travel. Have these moments, yeah. And have, have these moments, exactly. Yeah. Because life will throw curveballs at you. You never know what's going to happen. Um, and I will say that if you wait too long, Sometimes you wait too long to be able to do what you previously wanted to do. We have family on both sides that because of um, different health reasons, things like this right here that we're doing. Are more difficult to do. It yeah. is. And um, so just try to get them in when you can. Plan that trip. You know you yep. want to.
<laughs> and I think if you guys come out here to Dinosaur, you're going to really enjoy it. If you like this kind of stuff, this yeah. is the kind of thing that we really love. We, we do. And uh, this is why we want to travel. This is why. Yep. <laughs> That's this is why we want to travel because yeah. you don't see this in Florida. No. We see sandy beaches. Which so are you, also beautiful, so go there too. <laughs> people go, go there. Where you love. People go there for vacations as well. But <laughs> since since we live in Florida, we want to come and see these pretty canyons like this okay. in the desert. We're rambling, so we're gonna get back to the trail. Yep. And uh, this will probably be the end of the video. I think this is gonna be the end. I want to put the camera away, and uh, we want to we want to enjoy oh. our hike back to the truck. <laughs> Yes, we do. <laughs> this has been fabulous. We've had a great day. Yeah. We have seen a lot here at Dinosaur National Monument on both sides. Yeah. So this is just wonderful. Definitely do both sides. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed following our little hike here. And we are going to start our trek back. One last shot there. See ya. <laughs>